morning everyone oh, I don't know if I can really say good morning because it's well now it's quarter to five so I feel like that's a bit more acceptable people get up that time for work but we actually woke up at quarter to four which is ridiculously early for a Saturday morning uh, but we are off to the airport which is really exciting it's meant to be a happier morning I was so excited and I found out some horrific news this morning about one of my very lovely viewers I have probably if I'm honest about 20 people that I could name off the top of my head who tweet me, comment on videos, comment on blog posts, who are so supportive and one of them was killed on her holiday and I don't want to talk about it too much but I just found out and I basically haven't stopped crying, I'm in complete shock and it's terrible. So not quite the happiest of mornings and so we are heading to the airport, we are going to the south of France. I've been going to the south of France my whole life. I used to spend all my school holidays there, Easter, summer. It's like a second home to me. I've been literally going back to the same spot my whole life. So I've never actually taken you guys with me because I've always gone and just switched off. But I thought this time I would vlog and go with Rich and my parents. And I'm so excited to get a little bit of sun and to just relax and eat good food. And I love the south of France. As I said, it's like my second home. Rich is holding on my camera gear and he said, I feel like one of those YouTube couples. <laughs> oh, Rich, thanks for carrying my camera gear here. Right. Well, I plan on maybe filming a lookbook while I'm there, so I brought my camera stuff just in case. Mementos, but he thinks they're called mementos, it's hilarious. Let's go for my dad, he's picking us up from the airport. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hot, it's so nice. I'm gonna get changed into something cooler and then I think we're gonna head to the beach. Okay, I think I'm ready to head to the beach now. That took about five minutes and I'm ready to go. It's so hot out there. I'm wearing my Wild Fox sunglasses and my Lipsy play suit. Um, but I think I'm gonna try and do an outfit style video while I'm here. I haven't got my proper camera, but I'm gonna attempt one anyway. So you'll see all my outfits in that video. We're now at the beach. I've left my camera in the boots. So I couldn't film any of the journey, but it's, it's only 10 o'clock. It's boiling hot. I'm happy to be here. 11 o'clock. Oh, I haven't changed my watch. Damn it. <laughs> it's 11. Um, we're right by the port, so I think I'm going to go and take some outfit shots of my outfit before I get all sweaty. Look how beautiful this beach is. The sea is right there, I'll show you in a minute. The amazing sea is right here, but because it's a hotel there's also a little swimming pool there, which is funny. Not bad for a Saturday, not bad for an hour and a half to get here. Okay, well I had the best intentions of making an outfit video, I even brought nice outfits with me, but the Canon EOS M is not good for that. It's too, there isn't a viewfinder, I forget, so, I mean, there isn't, there's only a screen, so when it's sunny, it's really hard to see how to focus things, and also it's really shaky without a tripod, so that is a shame, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'd prefer to spend my day relaxing than stressing about a video. So, um, I don't know, I'll try and take some photos of outfits if I can, and continue vlogging. I think it's time for some serious beat relaxation now. for a swim quite far out and I cannot explain how cold the sea is, it's freezing. I think I'll stay put. I just or ordered an orange presse, which is my favourite drink on the beach, fresh orange juice. Right, it's time for lunch. Woke up at 4am so we are starving. It's only 12.30. Let's go get some yummy food. Rich, what are you going to have? Steak tartare. Steak tartare. We've been joined by our lovely friends, Jill. And Ben's here. 
which is nice. We just had a really delicious lunch. I ate way too much pasta, which is not good for me. And Gemma had a yummy, healthy crudite. Nice. It was really delicious. Now we're heading back. Perfect lunch. Yeah, it was. Now we're going to head back to the beach and get in the sea. My mum always used to tell me not to swim straight after lunch. I never really understood why. Uh, were you always told not to swim after lunch? Yeah, but we, it has been ages because of cramp. But we have been ages. Drowned. But I'm not like going for like a swim. How do you have? We're back at the flat now and we had a really nice day at the beach and I had a little nap this afternoon but I've had a really bad reaction to the pasta I had at lunch. I think today is just confirmed. I really can't eat pasta or pizza. I always forget that I eat pas spelt pasta at home, so when I eat out, I get pasta and then I forget how bad I am with pasta, so I'm in a lot of pain right now. So we have like a couple of hours to have showers and I think we're going out for dinner tonight in Antibes. Before I tackle my beach hair, I'm gonna tackle my face using all of this stuff. Try and get Richard to take some photos of me first. Maybe if we can. Did my makeup. I thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the evening. My top from River Island that I got last year that is the most handy thing in the world. I love it. Topshop shorts, my new sandals from Office, which I love, and I got in two shades. And my bag is from Brandy Melville. And my nails are Revlon. I can't remember what it's called. And my lipstick is Clinique um, Poppy Pop. And that's about that. Right. And that's that. We're going to a restaurant in Antibes that is basically it's over here, but this is over here and it's amazing. Back home after a lovely dinner at a very fishy restaurant, but I had the tuna and it was yum, it wasn't too fishy. And Rich had a nice meal too. We're so tired, it's been like the, it's been the longest day we woke up with quarter to four this morning. I know, I need to tidy, so we're gonna go to sleep and tomorrow we don't know what we're doing, but I reckon we're gonna go to Antibes and look around the market, food markets and stuff. So I'm gonna go to sleep, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I'm not wearing any eye makeup today because I have a sore eye. I don't know if you can see there, but it's all red and sore. So one, I don't want to infect my makeup, but also it would just make my eye worse. So that is why I'm wearing no eye makeup. I'm just making myself some breakfast. These are the little yogurts that I always talk about that I love in France. And I don't think you can get them at home, but they're so nice. 
Um, I used to eat these when I was little all the time and then I'd put a bit of honey um, on top and it's delicious. Or we have melon pan chocolat, very French. We're not sure exactly what we're doing today but I think we're probably going to go to Old Antibes and look around the markets. We might have to go to Carrefour to get some new pillows for the bed and that's about all we have planned so far. <laughs> sunglasses with just in case I film that outfit video so now I've just got a big choice of sunglasses I've got these from Wild Fox which I wore yesterday my Ray-Ban Wayfarers my Ray-Ban Erica's and my new Dior ones I think I might wear these today these are my Ray-Ban Erica's they're very lightweight and comfy my hair just looks like an egg <laughs> So sore today. My sunglasses. Thanks. Itchy nose. Where are we going now? Breakfast. Are we? Yeah. I've had breakfast. No, you haven't. I had a yogurt. You're going to the cafe. That new cafe. What new cafe? While we're waiting for my dad to park, I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing today. My Ray-Ban Erica's. My monkey vest top. My top shop. No, Zara shirt wrapped around. My top shop shorts from last year and my Birkenstocks, which is so comfy. And then the same bag as last night from Brandy Melville, but we have a beach bag in the booth with my swimming costume and stuff in it in case we end up going to the beach later, just in case. Should I do me? Mm. I'm wearing a t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> you love that t-shirt. I don't know what it's called, it's cool. <laughs> there you go. Some really standard shorts. <laughs> have you on this? And sunglasses? Sunglasses, Ray-Bans, your Ray-Bans. Oh, yeah. girls Ray-Bans. These were mine once. Um, I don't know why I ever bought those. I thought that the normal wafers didn't suit me, so I bought those, but then they really suit you. How funny. Yeah. Damn it, you got three pair of sunglasses. Lovely breakfast at Patisserie Cotard. And now we're going to go to Monoprix. Because apparently my sister's ordered some sandals or from there or something like that. Look what I found in Monoprix. The Monoprix food department is amazing. I don't know why we always come to the casino. I did not know this is here. Got so much good stuff. Oh look, Rich, this is all the gluten free pasta and stuff. Quite appropriate. We're now walking into Old Antibes, which is my favourite place to walk around. Up here is the food market in Old Antibes where we always like to visit when we come here. So we're going to go have a look at the yummy sausage and artichokes. Or a painting we really like. They have a few little like art galleries here where just like individual people are like, painting stuff. We saw one that we really liked of like the sea with this girl in the sea. So we're deciding whether or not to get it because it won't, definitely won't be here when we come back like in a year's time. When I was younger, they never had anything with my name on it because Lily was not a common name then. Look, we've got a key ring with Lily on it. Ooh, I would have died when I was younger. This is where I spent most of my childhood, in this little plate, well, it wasn't fancy when I was here. 
and there's like some little bumper cars down here and the same guy running it now is the son of the guy that was running it when I used to go on them. Like this little playground? Yeah, Wanna go on the bumper cars? You wouldn't be able to fit in the bumper cars. This is where I got on a donkey ride and then the donkey lost its shit and ran around and and scraped my leg against one of these trees. The donkey shit. I didn't, didn't lose its shit, it like went a bit mental. And <laughs> it's, it was that tree over there, I scraped my entire leg and cried for days. Apparently they don't have donkey rides here anymore because it's illegal. This was like in the 90s. They're setting up here for the jazz festival. They play just in front of the beach, in front of the sea. And here they have these hilarious things. It's like yeah. fake Hollywood. Okay. Just sat down at the beach to have um, some lunch. And I think I'm going to get some raw Italian is like mussels but with they do it with a nice tomatoey garlic sauce which they never do anywhere else they always make it with white wine sauce which i hate but i love mussels with tomato sauce i think i'm gonna get that because they are the best right on the beach they're so fresh what are you gonna get i'm gonna get the salad and I had to put some eye drops in, my eyes still quite sore. I'm going to start editing this vlog because I need to finish it tonight because we're probably going to be out tomorrow and I need to upload it for Tuesday. Yeah, I'm going to go start editing now. Okay, I've just been editing for ages, I've still got loads more, I don't know why there's so much footage. But me and Rich are going to drop my parents up in the hills in Mujan because they have a wedding to go to and we're just going to go out for dinner tonight. Mum, can I show them what you're wearing because you look nice? <laughs> Where's this dress from? We've had it for a while. Pamela Shiver. There you go. And your sandals? Camper. Camper. camper oh my god, Mark would love that they're from Camper, wouldn't he, Rich? Yeah. Mark loves Camper. camper. And a nice necklace. Where's that? Pressed stone. That was my aunt. She left it to me. Oh, that's nice. We just dropped my parents off. We're like the parents, Hannah. Be good, have a good night, don't get too drunk. Oh my god, Rich is getting used to driving this car. Uh, oh, that way. A little bit jolty. Let's hope we make it back in one piece. Oh, and I've got to remember to drive on the right hand side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just forgot. I was like, what are you doing? But I'm going to go home and like get showered and dressed. And I think we're going to find somewhere to go for dinner together, which would be nice. I need to finish editing this vlog. Okay, just one to look. What is going on with my hair? My hair in hot countries is just a disaster. I really don't know what I'm going to do in LA. Actually, I'm having a Brazilian um, blow dry straightening treatment thing. I've had them quite a few times before but I always like to try new ones and I'm actually having one done at Hershison's this week when I get home so I will do a blog post on how that goes because this hair needs defrizzing before LA big time. I'm going to stop vlogging here now because me and Rich are going to go out for dinner and I've just been editing the vlog so I know that it's quite long already and it'll be nice just to have a dinner without kind of filming. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. There will be another vlog up on Thursday because I'm going to carry on vlogging for the rest of this trip so I've got two more days so I hope you will enjoy that one too. And hope you guys had a good weekend and a good start to your week. See you on Thursday. Bye.